Are you ready to start dominating defenders? Cause today we're gonna get in a partner workout. Me and you, that's gonna help you get your handles down in game situations as far as being able to react. Cause a lot of times when you get into your practice routine, it's just you all by yourself. Games don't happen that way, do they? There's things on the court, there's defenders to react to, there's teammates to react to, there's gaps you have to react to that you can get to to get shots off to drive the lane. It's gonna be me, you, basketball, and a tennis ball. Let's do it. Set up your phone somewhere so you can hear me say what you need to do, or you can see me by setting it next to a post or a wall like this. Tennis ball in one hand, basketball in the other. I'm gonna let you know when you need to make a crossover. Stay tuned for all the different things because the challenge is gonna continue to increase and that's gonna help you get a quicker handle and react mentally quicker to what's happening on the court and make your dribbling feel like second nature. And on top of that, get an active offhand because that's what having a tennis ball will do because you have to really swipe at that tennis ball. You might see me mess up in this workout. That's okay, like we're here in practice to get out of our comfort zone. That's how you really improve is getting out of your comfort zone. Practice is a time to make mistakes, make things more challenging and difficult, push your speed on your dribbles, right? So then in the games, things slow down for you mentally, it feels easier to focus and, and you're not like freaking out. The handle side of things is gonna feel easier because you're used to dribbling the basketball quick. Other key point, I highly recommend you do this workout with me multiple times because I'm gonna be calling things out at different times and that's gonna force you to react, but doing it one time is not gonna get you the desired result. So stick with me on this and in fact, if you stay tuned to the end, I'll have some more workouts like this for you. First thing we're gonna do is just get our dribble going. We're gonna throw up this tennis ball a little bit like almost a head height, shoulder height, somewhere in there. The higher you throw it, the easier you make it. The lower you throw it, the harder you make it, okay? So you could even go like knee height if you really wanna push yourself. And what we're gonna do though is as that ball is bouncing back up, we're gonna cross over under and catch it with the other hand. Try to make a better catch than that though, okay? Every time I say cross, I want you to do that. Cross. Cross. You have to move around a little to get it, that's okay. Cross. Cross, 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 cross. Throwing you off, cross, cross. Okay, let's up the challenge, take a quick break. So if your back's getting sore, your legs are getting tired, I'll give you a quick break here, take a deep breath, shake your legs out a little. And I'll explain what we're gonna do next. Instead of doing the cross after the tennis ball bounces, and then going under it, we're going to throw it up, go under, let it bounce, and then catch it overhand. That's gonna up the challenge and get in the habit of having that active offhand for pesky defenders. So one more time, throw it up, cross over right away, not after the bounce, catch it overhand, cross over, Catch it overhand. Cross over, catch it overhand. Cross over as soon as you let go of that tennis ball. That's air time of that tennis ball is gonna up the challenge. Ready? Let's do it. Cross. 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 Whoop, caught it in the air. Cross. Cross. Cross, 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 cross. Cool, take a quick break. We're gonna have to challenge some more. Next thing we're going to do, catch it in the air. As we're doing this dribble, we're gonna throw it up. We're gonna cross over under, and we're gonna catch it underhand. So throw it up, cross it over underhand. Ooh, almost lost it in the demonstration. Cross over, catch it underhand, underhand. And try to give it a little air time. Sometimes I see players will do like this, handing it off. That's too easy. Give it a little air time. In this instance, giving it a little bit more air is more of a challenge because it'll throw your timing off with the vision and what's happening with that other hand. You might lose it from time to time, okay? So, let's give it a go. Cross. 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 Cross, throw it up a little high on this one, cross. Throw it up a little high, cross. 
Throw up real high, come on. Cross. Okay, take a quick break. We're gonna up the challenge some more. This one, you can give it a little less air time and it'll still be a pretty good challenge because we're gonna catch it overhand. Now, again, don't just do this though. Throw it up and then catch it overhand like that. Like, kind of swat it. Thinking about it being a defender, trying to poke in there, you're like protecting your space, okay? Throw it up, catch it overhand, okay? One more demonstration, throw it up, catch it overhand. Go ahead and walk through it if you have to, get the feel for it. Do it a couple times. All right, let's jump into it. I'm gonna call them off. Cross. 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 Next thing we're gonna do is push your speed on your handle a little bit more. Throw it back up and let it bounce. And this time we're gonna catch it with the same hand and with the hand that's dribbling, we're gonna do a double cross, okay? So throw it up, double cross, catch, okay? Catch it overhand for this one. Just keep working that overhand catch, which brings a little bit more hand speed in. And again, makes it a little more game situational. And then try to knock out those double crossovers quick. Ideally, throw the tennis ball about head height, maybe slightly above, and that's like when you're standing, when you're crouching, it'll be a little above head height. And try to get those double crosses off before this ball even hits the ground. So it adds a little extra speed component with the ball handling, but on top of that, after that, you've got to quickly catch it, so it'll help you actually with the catching of the tennis ball if you try to get those double crosses off before the tennis ball ever hits the ground. Ready? Let's do it. Double cross. 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 Push me here a little. Throw it up high. Double cross. Throw. Throw it up high. Double cross. Woo! Throw it up high. Double cross. Throw it up high. Double cross. Didn't know where it was going to be. Use that peripheral vision if you can. See on the corners of your eyes. Double cross. Double cross. Throw it up high. Double cross. Throw it up high. Double cross. Cool. Let's switch hands, switch sides. So we're doing our double crosses on the other side. Quick break. Take a breath. Shake out. Loosen up that back. Twist a little bit if you have to. That'll help loosen up that back. All right, you ready? Let's jump into it. That dribble going, throw it up, double cross, throw it up, double cross, double cross, double cross, Woo, let's hit the ball, double cross, 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 throw it up high, double cross, double cross. Double cross. Double cross. Throw it up a little high. Double cross. Ah, woo! And further than I expected. Double cross. Double cross. Cool. Hold your basketball. Next thing we're going to do is gonna up the challenge even more. First of all, leave me a comment. Let me know if you want me to bring you more videos in this series. We've got a lot more ways to challenge you. And if you click the link that's pinned to the comments, that's actually a full playlist. With all the workouts I'm gonna have in this series to develop you more of a reaction with your handle. And they're all follow along workouts like this. Also pinned to that comment, I'll have a free ball handling workout if you need to just get more of your basics on. And some athleticism with your handle. That workout's a hybrid workout that develops your ball handling control and your athleticism at the same time. Literally in minutes, you'll see a difference. It's already helped thousands of players. Sure, it'll help you too. Be sure you get that while it is available because it is free and be sure you subscribe and click that bell icon to catch the newest videos the second they come out they're all going to help you improve your game big time hit that like button if you love this workout i will see you in those other workouts that are pinned to the comments below make moves today